All right, as a CEO, you may be wondering, why is mindfulness important to me? Well, you, as the CEO, you are the pulse, the DNA of the company. As that CEO, you can change the culture from the top down by practicing mindfulness. Now, many of us think that we don't have time for mindfulness, but I can tell you, as you practice mindfulness, your organization is going to be better and you're going to get that time back. When we are mindful, we are focused on the task at hand. Rather than thinking about or ruminating on the past or being anxious about the future, when we are focused on the task at hand, we are more efficient, more proficient, and we're going to develop a better product, meet those deadlines easier, and ultimately, again, affect the bottom line in a positive way. Mindfulness can lead to better decision-making, clearer thinking, more creative solutions, and ultimately, a better culture for your organization. Mindfulness can help to reduce stress, ultimately leading to a happier and healthier life, but also helping to improve the culture of an organization. We're more focused, we're more present, we're in the moment, we're more efficient, proficient, and we're gonna be a better company overall. Additionally, mindfulness can foster a better work culture. You're going to be more empathetic, more compassionate, more understanding, more emotionally intelligent, with your organization. It's going to help your organization gel together so that they, as an organization, as a unit, can make better decisions. When we're able to be present and attentive to the needs of our employees, we're able to foster a more collaborative, safer environment. Look, we're all overwhelmed these days. We are lost in email, social media, notifications, traffic, work deadlines. I understand, I've been there myself. Mindfulness can help with this. Mindfulness, being present in the here and now, instead of ruminating about the past or worrying about the future, that can help us to be more present, reduce stress, make us more collaborative, more creative, so that we can come up with those creative solutions, help everyone live that happier, healthier, more fulfilling life, so that you can be a better organization. Happier, healthier individuals, happier, healthier organization. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying that you don't have time for mindfulness. Now, one way to practice mindfulness is through meditation. Meditation is the formal practice. You set aside that time and you practice that meditation. But you can also incorporate mindfulness into your daily routine. A daily mindful meal, a mindful drive, a mindful walk. And all of this can help you live that happier, healthier, more fulfilling, more stress-free life.